Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Welcome. You like the hands, I'm sorry. Some of you are like, I don't like the fucking hands, don't do that again. That's okay. Couple things. I want to like have a, a bit of a chat about something that's really fucking pissing me off. And I guess an announcement. First off, there is a fire in one, two, three, four buildings down the street. And for some reason, the fire department couldn't get in the building. So they have the big ladder going straight into a window on the fifth floor of that building. That's crazy. It's cray cray, cray cray. Blood of the fucking gods, man. Jesus. Mornings are good. Some of you might be saying, can you fucking get on with it? And I'll get to it. Basically, here's the deal. I am officially retiring from bookshops with cats. I said it. I can't fucking do it. It is destroying my life. I can't. If you own a bookstore and you have bookstore cats, you're you're damaging a lot of your sales. And I know the cats make you calm and you like them. I like looking at cats. They're fun. But I am so horribly fucking allergic to cats. My eyes swell up. I can't breathe. My sinuses get all fucked. Um, and I, I just can't do it. I can't. I opened another book last night to sit down and read that I got at the motherfucking Iliad and it fucking wrecked me, dude. Wrecked me. So as much as I love the Iliad and I love the Iliad's selection and the high turnover. So there's always something new. That's actually not true, because I think one of the reasons why this is hurting me so bad is because some of those books have sat in there for a long time, and there's at least three cats in the Iliad. But I just, I got all itchy. I felt like I was trying to climb out of my skin. It's, it's just not worth it. It's actually making me want to go straight Kindle and um, not fuck with paperbacks anymore. Like, yes, I have the paperbacks I like, and all of them are going to be bagged and tagged and put into evidence boxes and put into a storage facility somewhere, um, all classified to where no one can just take them willy-nilly to their, um, you know, resort house, you know, um, but I think for the most part, I'm just going to be like, I'm going to move to ebooks. I can't fucking do this. Like, it ruined my night. And now that I'm talking about it again, because I'm a psychopath, I'm feeling like itchy all over again. But I know I'm not. Like, when I lived in the desert, it was easy. If I bought books from a store that had cats in it, I would take them outside, shake the shit out of them, and leave them out on the table for a day or two before I even took them inside to the trailer. But I can't do that here. I live in a concrete building that has no balcony, no nothing. And I, I, I can't, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So I have retired from bookstore cats. And if I go into a bookstore and there's a cat, I'm going to turn the fuck around and walk out. And you know what? If I'm going to buy books, I'll probably just go on Abe and get them from Better World or Thrift Books or Half Price Books or whatever, where they're in a fucking warehouse that doesn't have fucking cats and just has, like, warehouse employees. That's what I'm going to fucking do for now on. I, I can't fucking do it. How do you guys feel about bookstore cats? Let me know in the comments down below, because this was a fun topic, wasn't it? All right. So anyway, go out, get Los Angeles, 
There, there's no there's no cat hair on this, guys. No cat dander. And some of you might be going, but there's uh, smoke on it. There's smoke. Just so you guys know, let me just make this fucking clear. All of my stuff that I ship out to everybody, that's in a separate place. Sealed up, separate. Okay? Just saying. The stuff that I smoke around, I smoke around it because it's mine and I can do whatever the fuck I want to it. You know what? I'm going to blow your mind even more. Sometimes I go into the bathroom with them and read them while I'm using the bathroom. Isn't that disgusting? Do you know that the majority of the used books you read that you're holding in your hand have been read by somebody with no pants on having a bowel movement? Isn't that fucking disgusting? But you read those books, you're fine with that. What, are they going to wash the book? Are they going to fucking get out some hand sanitizer and scrub the pages? No, you're disgusting. You read books with people with no pants on. Don't give me your shit. All right. So keep buying my books. Love you guys. See ya. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.